Good morning, Tammy C. Walker, the owner of Dreams Are a Reality. I created this channel to provide light and love. If you like what you hear, subscribe to my channel, hit that like button. I want to break down my favorite, uh, what is this, Bible? It's not just a verse, it's the whole chapter. I learned this as a little girl, Psalms 23. And I want to break down what it means. I'm just going to read it and then come back and break it down. Psalms 23. This is David speaking here. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. This is the NIV version. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely, I got to get loud on that part. Surely, your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. When you're feeling down and out, when you're feeling defeated, go to Psalms 23, Psalms 37, or Psalms 91. I swear by those chapters, they will comfort you, protect you, and help lift you out of the pit of despair if you believe. So it starts off, the Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Um, means when I have the Lord, I do not lack for food. I do not lack for clothing. I do not lack for shelter, for comfort, for love, for peace, for joy. Do we have bad days? Of course, we are human. But if we can tap back into the Lord Jesus Christ, we know that he has the power to give us everything we need. If we believe, we will receive. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. Sometimes we are just burnt up and burnt out. And it is when we cry out to the Lord and say, I need some rest, God. I cannot go a step further. I remember when I was a caregiver for for my mom and I was working a new job. I would do Monday. My older sister do Tuesday. I would do Wednesday. I would go to work after work, go be with my mom maybe from 6 until the next morning. Um, She was bedridden, very sick with brain cancer. And one day I had zero in the tank. I'm like, God, I'm not going to be able to go over here because I'm just on E. And I had to get on my knees and say, God, please, 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 please help me. And I was able to get up and get over there and take care of my mom. He makes me lie down in the green pastures. He leads me besides the quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He will restore you if you believe. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. What about when you don't know what to do with a relationship? What about if you don't know which job to take? What if you got laid off? You don't know which move to make now. What if your kids have gone wayward? What if you have a strained friendship, a strained relationship with a sibling or a family member? He guides me along the right paths. That's where it's good to have faith in God, in Jesus, and he will help guide you to the correct response answer how to treat these people how to treat yourself even though i walk through the darkest valley i will fear no evil although you tell me you have breast cancer i'm not gonna fear this although i'm in the middle of a divorce i know i'm gonna come out on the other side although i'm having trouble with this job i know with my skills my education my experience my professionalism i'll be all right Although this person rejected me, so many more 
would love to be with me. I love myself first. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, even though I've been depressed, even though I may feel lonely, I will feel no evil. If God be for us, who can be against us? Because you are with me. Who is you? God, Jesus, you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. That rod, the staff, if you're fighting a war or you're out in the wilderness, those things will comfort you. That The rod and staff is Jesus. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Sometimes when people do you wrong, God will allow them to see you elevated. Those same people will have to come back to you or you may end up helping them. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. When you are connected to the great I am, Jesus God, you will be anointed with oil. And your cup will overflow with good health, with love, with peace, with joy. Your Everything could be falling apart all around you. Have you seen those people? But they still stand tall. They still have a smile. They still have joy. That is uh, amazing. That is amazing. Surely, not maybe, surely goodness and love will follow me. If I believe goodness and love is going to follow me all throughout my life. It didn't say some of my life, all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Till I leave this earth, and even when I leave this earth, my spirit, my soul will ascend into the heavens with God, Jesus Christ. I love Psalms 23. Your relationship is not working. Go to Psalms 23. You're at work. You're about to go ham on your manager. You feel like you're about to walk out. Go to your car. Read Psalms 23. Meditate on it. You know, your loved one is sick. You've been told about a report about your own health your kids acting up your teenagers your grown kids the lord is my shepherd go to psalms 23 it will comfort your soul i swear by that book i've i've known that um chapter since i was a little girl i swear by it tammy sharice walker i hope you enjoyed this i hope it helps you Have a beautiful, beautiful day. God bless you all. God keep you all. Bye-bye.